whole morning has been a little bit like, ah, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Kyra. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss out on an upload from me. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you're not new, welcome home, y'all. Hey, what it do? So I got my coffee because today is National Coffee Day. This coffee is so good. Like, so good, so good, so good, so good. I made it at home with everything from Trader Joe's. I wish I had a straw, but I don't, and that's okay. So, no, I'm playing. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a really cute, like, soft glam. I am absolutely obsessed, like, obsessed with soft glam looks. And I have um, a few new products of makeup that I picked up that I want to try and a lip combo that I know is just going to set this soft glam off, you hear me. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys this look because I've really been dying to do it and life has just been getting in the way. I got some new products. They're not new to the world, but they're new to me. But yeah, I'm super excited to be filming this look and I figured like it's the end of September. Tomorrow, no not tomorrow, Thursday marks October. So it's like, why not? You know, like fall vibes. I'm a fall baby for those of you who don't know. Comment down below what season your birthday is in. But um, yeah, I'm a fall baby in October baby. So I just feel like the fall calls for beat faces, bronzy, like brown glam. I just love a bronze warm face on black skin. So, but yeah, so um, we're just gonna hop right in. This isn't, is this, this isn't gonna be too chit chatty. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the new products I'm trying, but other than that, we gonna keep it pretty cute. So first, I'm just gonna be taking this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And if you guys remember in my other Get Ready With Me, this wasn't working and then literally, I mean literally, as soon as my plane landed in Los Angeles and I tried to use this, it worked like nothing ever happened. So I don't know, but yeah, I really like this. So I'm gonna put like ooh, two pumps. Comment down below how you guys feel about the quality of this video because I was actually going to record this video on my other camera, my um, my DSLR, but it was just giving me um, some issues this morning and I got things to do so I'm like, no, I'm not going to play around with that. This primer just makes my skin feel so smooth and so ready to roll. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Stick Foundation. I got this from Ulta. This is in the color, girl, I'm going to put it in the description box. This is called Maritania. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to put it in the description box for you guys. But this foundation I grabbed at Ulta. And obviously because of COVID and everything, you can't swatch in the store. So I just grabbed what I thought was the closest to my skin. And I did swatch this when I got home. It looks a little bit off. But I think we can make it work. I think. I hope I pray. So, um... Mm, it's not horrible. I'm just not going to use, like, too much. I'm gonna just start out with this much because I don't know what this foundation is about to do and because this is a stick foundation I'm actually just gonna blend it out with this flat top it's like a flat top kabuki brush kind of sort of this is the Morphe M444 so I'm just gonna blend this out I'm just gonna spray some setting spray to make it um, a little bit easier to blend because it was giving me a hard time ever so slightly. And this color, y'all, I don't completely know about it. I feel like um, in the 
winter time, like in the cooler months. <coughs> I feel like in the winter time, like in the cooler months and stuff, this color would be really good for um, my skin. But like right up here in this area, it matches perfectly, but there are certain areas in my face that are more brown than the others. Um, but, but it's okay because, um, you know, we're gonna fix it up with highlight and with um, contour and all that stuff. This foundation definitely gives me like medium buildable coverage vibes. I definitely don't get like super full coverage off the bat with this foundation. And I'm also making sure to take the foundation down my neck because I have acne scars on my neck. Um, you should definitely blend your foundation into your jawline and like around your ears and stuff like that as well. Um, but I have acne scars on my neck so I make sure to really get into it so that when you see me from far away everything looks as it should hmm. I don't know how I feel about it I don't know like not even about the color just about the formula and consistency it kind of feels like maybe this is light coverage this might be light coverage because I feel just a little bit like um nothing's on my face so yeah I feel like this foundation is pretty mm, light medium coverage I don't know I don't know we'll see once the full face is done I don't I don't absolutely love it but I don't hate it either it, it's giving me very natural like not really soft glam but that's okay then I'm just gonna take my Fenty 400 my under eyes regular foundation is a little bit light I'm kind of nervous but that's okay The sun just came out, so there's like, it's a lot of lightning going on. Lighting? Did I just say lightning? What? Um, I went ahead and did my brows off camera. I can zoom you guys. I went ahead and um, I just zoomed you guys in a little bit closer, but I went ahead and did my brows off camera because I had to change my battery out and a couple other things. So while I did my brows, I let my concealer dry down. Um, my brows kind of look a mess because I need to get them done so there's really nothing that fancy but yeah so now I'm gonna um, just blend my concealer out. I let it sit for like probably 10-15 minutes at this point. seen on Brianna Monique's channel um, if you guys don't aren't subscribed to her you should be but I actually saw on her channel that after she does her um, contour and stuff she goes back in with a little bit more of her brightening concealer and it really brings the whole look together so I'm gonna um, try to do that today this coffee is so good I can't believe it like 
really a barista, period. <laughs> So now I'm going to apply contour and I'm actually super excited to use this. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Brown Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream um, in the color medium. And this I just got at Sephora because I used the uh, Fenty matchsticks as you guys saw in the last get ready with me. I used um, the shade Espresso and the shade was really good. The product was good, don't get me wrong, but please hold, there's a plane flying over. Maybe a helicopter. But yeah, so I had used the, um, lips are dry. Hold on. Okay, period. So, anyway, I was in Sephora, um, the other day, as usual, because I can't stay out of Sephora. And, um, the girl that was helping me, her face was so beat and it had that beautiful bronze glow that I was looking for. And I asked her, you know, what she used because I've really been struggling to find, um, look at this. I've really been struggling to find like a bomb contour product that works for me because like I said, the Fenty Matchstick was fine, but, um, it was, it was really hard to blend and I just felt like. It was doing a lot and I know that it's it's good for oily skin which I have um, and it's good because it has more of like a powdery consistency but the blendability is like not popping and I just don't have time for that so anyway I'm going to take this in medium and I'm just going to put some on my face with this uh, small concealer brush this is a Morphe M421 um, when the girls swatched this on my hand I was literally like the consistency like it's so creamy my nose itches <laughs> this coffee is like making my tongue white, ew. But yeah, so I'm just gonna take this. Oh wow. When she swatched it on my hand, I was literally like, I need it. Like, I need it now. I love this. I already love it, period. Just because, um, trying to find a product that, um, has a shade range for me. Don't look at this. I know I kind of botched it, but that's okay. I'm trying to find a product that has the shade range um, to give my skin, you know what I mean, like contour, but still give it that like brown, bronzy glow is um, it's really hard. It's really, 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 really hard, especially in Sephora. And I could have done like, you know, a stick foundation or something like that, but I really wanted a product that was made for contouring because I feel like it's important to get those shadows on your face, if you will, um, just as much as it is to have the right shade. So you don't want to have like a contour that's super, super orange, you know? So I just did a little bit and then we kept we can see it definitely feels buildable so I just did a little bit for now um, and then I'm just gonna blend this out with my Morphe M530 brush y'all I need to wash my brushes so I'm feeling like um I'm gonna do that soon. My cousin actually um, just posted a video of how she washes her brushes. Um, and I'll leave her channel link down below, but she um, just posted a video of how she washed her brushes. So I'm gonna watch her video and um, wash mine and see, you know, what her technique is and if it works better for me. Because one thing that I can't stand is having to take the time and wash some brushes, seriously. I love, uh, love, 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 love this Tantor. I might've went a little bit OD with it, but that's okay. I love the way it looks though. Like I just love how it gives look at this like brown, bronzy period. Uh, I love this. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and cut this, so don't worry too much about it not being, um, you know, like super, super, super sharp or super defined. Yeah, I love that product, period. I'm so glad that I got that. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my Morph, um, of my Makeup Forever Concealer. This is in the shade 4.3. And I'm just gonna 
put it like right here just to really brighten up that area and also to help me blend out you know anything that I might have missed here I really love this um, tan tour I'm really glad that I bought this and I saw that Huda said make sure that you close it so that you know it stays creamy and everything does what it's supposed to do I'm just gonna blend Batteries are playing tricks on me and I don't know why, but I kind of hate it. So my um, beauty sponge was like too wet and it started to do a little weird type of situation over here when I was baking. So I just took this brush and put some powder on it. <sighs> Y'all, the devil is working, working, okay? My um, camera is not trying to let me live. My sponge was too wet, so part of my makeup looks crazy. Like, look at this. Whatever, honestly, we ain't even gonna get caught up in it, it's fine. So now I'm just gonna take my bronzer, and I think I told y'all this before, but honestly, I feel like I could have used a darker bronzer. This is Caramel Cutie by Fenty, of course, but I feel like I could have went a shade darker, um, but that's okay. We honestly might have to do soft glam round two and really get into it, because I just feel like this video is just like, what happened? Why, why don't the makeup gods want me to get into the soft glam? But I think what happened was my sponge, my beauty sponge might've been, it was too wet. And I think it was because of the fact I washed it right before the video. So, That could have an impact on it, but um, whatever. Now I'm just about to take this, uh, lies. I'm just gonna take some bronzer and put it in my crease just to give my eyes some shape and dimension. I have um, hooded eyes and my eyes are pretty small, so I really don't get into the eyeshadows too crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna do, this is a Morphe M505 brush. Yeah, this is the Morphe M505 brush, so I'm just gonna, um, with some bronzer and I'm just using um, like just patting the bronzer on and then I'm just using windshield wiper motions but I'm really just putting it in my crease nothing fancy to see here I am nobody's professional um, eyeshadow expert so don't come for me I'm just gonna take some blush. Um, I really wanna try the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. Um, I really wanna get into liquid blush. I just love how it's super pigmented. This is the Morphe 105 brush, by the way. But I feel like the liquid blushes are more pigmented so you can really um, get into it. This is just a regular old drugstore Maybelline peach blush. Um, She's cute, she's regular, nothing fancy, nothing to write home about. 
I feel like I want to put a little bit of pop in my eye, so I'm going to take this um, eyeshadow from ColourPop. This is in the color Amaze. I've had this eyeshadow right here for so long. Um, I'm going to just use my finger, actually. But this, when I was a freshman in college, which was now a long, 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 long time ago, like over five years ago, but when I was a freshman in college, um, ColourPop was that girl. Like, ColourPop had the liquid lipsticks. They had the liquid lipsticks, even though the formula was kind of like a bad joint. <laughs> um, they had the liquid lipsticks, and they had a lot of really pretty eyeshadows and stuff and I just love how this is a simple shimmery like a simple bronze shimmery look period yeah something is like going out sad on my face I'm actually gonna put my lashes on and I will be back because ain't nobody got time to be trying to apply lashes on camera period the lashes I'm gonna be using are these I got these from Ilor these are um, Ilor London Luxe Silk in the Marquise I got these from Target I'll link them down in the bio of course but yeah so I'm about to just throw these on right quick right quick and I will be back all right y'all so i just um did my lashes off camera i could have cut these a little bit but you know what that's okay that's okay this whole morning has been a little bit like ah, but it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay still cute but yeah so anyway now for the fun part um the lip what we came here for so for my lips i'm going to be using this nyx um slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner period this next lip liner this is in the shade urban cafe so i'm just going to line my lips with this and then i'm going to put on um this butter gloss in fortune cookie this is also by nyx this is a classic fortune cookie and hopefully this lip will bring together my soft glam vision because girl girl i don't know what happened but Period. This came out cute. Let me zoom in. So we were able to save it. Thank God. The lip made everything just come together. I really think the look came out super cute. I don't know what was happening with my face with my products, but that's okay. That's okay, y'all. Period. Um, but I really love how this look came out. I am absolutely obsessed with this lip combo. And I also, if you guys didn't notice, the highlight queen didn't put on any highlight i don't know if y'all know this or not but um i almost did i was really tempted but i just felt like for a cute 90s like soft glam vibe no highlight just do blush and bronzer and yeah um i just turned the brightness up so hopefully you guys can see me a little bit better but um i absolutely love how the look came out i would change my shirt out of my pajamas but y'all i'm not going nowhere 10 54 in the morning now and i have homework to do the furthest i'm going is from here to my kitchen so yeah um i like how the look came out i'm glad that we were able to you know save it um had us in the first half not gonna lie but we was able to save it and pull something together i love the non-highlight look y'all know i'm always a highlight girl the highlight queen but i love how it came out we are going to try this again um and you know really get into it because i don't know what happened today but this was fun i had fun and i feel like the look is cute it's more of like a soft 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 lip but yeah so i want to get into it um 
more brown, more eyes. So we'll try this again um, one day soon. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not seen my previous Get Ready With Me, I will throw it up here somewhere. Um, and if you guys haven't subscribed by now, you're all the way at the end of this video. I mean, you kind of out of pocket. Like, you kind of need to subscribe and you know that. So I'm gonna throw the video up here for you guys. Don't forget to um, like this video, comment down below what kind of looks you guys wanna see, any products you want me to try. I could pop into some eyeshadows, but you know, let me know what y'all wanna see. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this for you guys and um, yeah, so I'm gonna go do my homework and get my day started, make my avocado toast. And um, until next time, I will see you guys later, bye.